tomorrow morning I'm going to take the floating hide out to a nearby lock to photograph birds. Today though, I wanted to show you guys a little bit about how I set up the floating hide and some of the gear that I take with me to stay comfortable in the water for what could be hours on end. So first then, let's put on the tent for the floating hide. The main part of the floating hide is a dense plastic shell made in Austria. And it comes with a dedicated tragopan hide attached to it. For the hide itself, we got cup holder in the back. We've got two non-slip foam pads here for your arms to rest so you don't slide about. Two handles and a mount for a tripod head so you can attach your camera gear. Now, the tent itself is really easy to attach. It attaches to these three rings to get the main structure of the hide and then there are buttons all the way around the hide that you use to attach the tent to as well. And we've got three of these velcros that we're going to use to attach to the rings that makes the structure of the hide. Uh, I don't attach the buttons for the back part until I actually use the hide, just so that I can leave the tent on. You can put these back up, and it makes it quite easy to move around, and you could even store it with the tent on, and it's ready to go. You don't have to take that off and on every other time you use it. As you can see here for the front window, we've got this pulley system, so you can pull this open from the inside. Warm it up. We also have zippers. So you can open this up completely if you want to get a better view. You see it's got double, double handles, so you can do that from the inside and the outside. Lens sleeve here, we got the same sleeve windows on both sides with the same pulley system. Some of the items that I take with me when I'm going out with a floating hide is just a bottle of water. I have a little dry bag where I keep things like warm hat, and gloves, if it gets really cold, any other little bits that I want to take with me. There's also a very well insulated pocket in here and loads of small pockets around that you can store items. I keep a rope for the floating hide. That is if I have access to water and I can leave the hide up so that the birds get used to it. I'll just use the rope to attach it so that it doesn't float away. I prefer to use the dry suit when I'm in the water. And I'm in Scotland, it's cold water most of the time and this will keep me comfortable so I can stay in for hours at a time. Some people may use chest waders. One of the benefits of using something like a dry suit or a wetsuit, you don't have the risk of water coming over the top like in chest waders. If I go into deep water, so I'll bring with me flippers and a life vest. To cover up the hide even more, I like to use the ghillie blanket. And I use these little ties that are all around the hide that you can just tie this to. And you can also use this to attach bits of vegetation to it to just really make it blend in to the environment that you're photographing in. I'm gonna pack this up, it's gonna be an early night. I'll see you back out tomorrow morning.
in the floating hide. Never been in this lock before to photograph. So this could be interesting. Just walking over to where all the these little pond weeds are. See, there's a few ducks over here. Maybe they got some young ones that I can photograph. Now, one thing I haven't had the chance to do here, which can be quite a good idea, is to put the hide in the water for a while before you go out for photography so that the birds here get used to the structure. But this is quite a public lock, and I can't leave it here, so we're just gonna have to take our chances. It's a family of mallards here. See if we can get a bit closer. I'm next to this little family of mallards. It's a female owl with fun little ducklings. They look really nice and they're surrounded by the green weeds in the in the lock. I'm going to try and spend a bit of time here. Just move slowly closer. And stand still for a bit of time to see if they can get used to me. It's great colors at this time of the morning. I'm not sure what I am, but so far I'm not worried. Just to be clear, these are quite wild mallards. These are not tame. There's an osprey out here that's hunting. Just sit down on a tree. How oh, cool is that? It's amazing. It starts to rain as well. I'm quite comfortable in here. Got a great crest of grieve here. They are such amazing birds. Osprey is still sitting in the tree.
That was just incredible. If you want to get a hold of one of these floating blinds, check out tragapan-shop.com and go get one of these. It is so much fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.